I remember in the middle of Awesomeness Fest, my investor called me up. He was pissed off. He was so pissed off. He's like, you quit the company I helped you start to start a festival. So you just said it. You said it yourself. You wanted progress, but not achievement. Very often, achievement is a mean goal. It's, it's a mean goal. It's a means to an end. It's not the achievement we want. It might be the boost of confidence. It might be that we want to achieve because we think it's going to attract the love of our life. It could be that we want to achieve because we want to make our parents proud of us. Achievement is an illusion. Achievement is immature wanting. Let me share with you a story. In 2010, okay, so I had my meditation website, but it was growing slowly because way back in 2010, meditation was still not as big as it was right now. And so we were not getting as much press or something. And at the same time, the tech sector in Malaysia was blowing up. All of these new companies were emerging. The tech sector was just blowing up. There was VC money flying everywhere. And I decided, I want a piece of that. And I decided I wanted media retention. I wanted to get venture funding. I wanted a company that was talked about. I wanted a hot technology company. And so what, I what drove the, that within you. I just, I just wanted attention. I wanted media attention. I wanted oh, to be written yeah. out of the press. It was all of these bullshit triggers for achievement. So I went to one of the top investors in the country. I pitched an idea and I got $2 million in capital. $2 million in capital, right? And I became a co-founder of this company. Now, this company was a Groupon clone for Southeast Asia. You remember Groupon? The coupon yeah, yeah, company yeah. Yeah. became the fastest growing company in the world and it, it fizzled out and died. So I started a Groupon clone for Malaysia. I got everything I wanted. I was now part of that Silicon Valley um, a bubble in Malaysia, but I hated my life. And so I had to go to my investors and say, guys, I'm out. Like if I continue doing this, this depression is going to get hardcore. And I had a two-year-old son at that point. I did not want to be like miserable while raising a two-year-old boy because that's inevitably going to affect your kids. So I gave up my shares and I quit. And that was one of the biggest lessons I ever learned. I lost touch with my own heart and I went down that stupid path simply because I wanted accomplishment. Now, here's the counterpart of that story. When I quit, I got really lonely um, and I needed something to do. So again, Mind Valley was just kind of moving on its own. I had no, Mind Valley was just a little meditation website kind of floating on its own, not, not growing, not shrinking, bringing in some good cash flow, but you know, just, just there. And I decided I wanted to, to connect with amazing people around the world. So I decided to, and I also, I also got really into surfing. So you can't <laughs> surf in Malaysia. Surfing isn't good in Malaysia, nor is it in Bali, but it's good in Costa Rica. So I decided to launch a surf festival in Costa Rica. So here's the crazy idea. I had a blog at that time. I was blogging uh, for fun. And on my blog, I said, I want to get 250 people to Costa Rica for a festival. We're going to go to Witches Rock, which is a famous surfing beach. We're going to surf. We're going to bring in these speakers. We're going to have these really cool parties at night. I have space for 250 people. It's going to cost you two grand. Uh, is anyone in? And I sold every single ticket, 250 tickets sold. I was blown away because all I wanted to do was just experience Costa Rica. It was my dream destination, surf and hang out with cool people. I call the festival Awesomeness Fest because, you know, in surfing lingo, awesome, yeah, yeah. Uh, radical, groovy. I call it Awesomeness Fest. And this launched in December 2010. Awesomeness Fest became so successful. Today, it's called AFEST. You can actually go to AFEST.com. It became so massively successful. It exploded. It exploded. And uh, if you if you follow AFEST on Instagram, AFEST, or if you go to AFEST.com, you'll see like how massive this festival is. It's now one of the most um, sought after events for top level entrepreneurs. We, we, we accept 350 people at each event. It is the most incredible thing in my life. It's it's art, it's theater, it's, it's, it's the most amazing parties, it's inspiring speakers. And from Awesomeness Fest, it got so amazing that it gave me the idea to go to my little meditation website and transform it. So I took my meditation website, I took Awesomeness Fest, I mashed this together, and this in 2013 became Mind Valley. It became the new Mind Valley that was growing and growing and growing and growing and growing. Because we now had a brand, we had a purpose, we had a mission. We had our own freaking cool, epically cool festival. 
And all the speakers coming to this festival would sign up and become authors on our platform. But think about how all of that started. I quit my immature wanting. I quit this bullshit sense of accomplishment. And all I decided to do was follow my heart, go to Costa Rica, and figure out how to get people to teach me surfing. <laughs> and that led. What, what gives you, what gives, like, what is it within you? Is it your, is your makeup? Where, where do you get the confidence to say, you know what? I think I can do this surfing thing. I think I'll give it a shot. So, so you see, you answered this yourself when you said, I don't want accomplishment. I want progress. Yeah. Everything I did with Awesomeness Fest wasn't designed. I wasn't, it wasn't designed for accomplishment. Dude, I just wanted to fucking surf. <laughs> I wanted to hang out with cool people. Cool I people wanted, and, and be awesome. I wanted to be, have an excuse to be in Costa Rica. I remember in the middle of Awesomeness Fest, my investor called me up. He was pissed off. He was so pissed off. He's like, you quit the company I helped you start to start a fucking- Go surfing. <laughs> to start a fucking festival. Those was his words. You see how magical life can be? And this is why I say, for God's sake, people, follow your heart. You never know where it's going to lead you. If you're digging the conversation I'm having with Vishen Lakiani from Mind Valley, you've got to hear the whole talk. We break down why hard work isn't enough, why he walked away from a multi million dollar VC backed company, and how really the seed for everything great in his life was planted by just chasing down his passions. Check out the whole talk.